Shangri-La is one of the premier repositories of a whole range of Islamic art in the United States. Doris Duke was unusual in the seriousness with which she collected this art at the time that she did it. She envisaged it not just as a museum, but as an integrated architectural site. The art is embedded in the building. The building itself evokes Indo-Persian uh, themes. And so the objects of art are not just on display, but are integrated into a holistic vision. And the Mughal suite exemplifies uh, this tendency to integrate the art and the architecture it has Persian arches on the windows, and then the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam, which decorate the walls, are kind of windows into a whole different culture because of the way that they're framed. The Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam are quatrains. They celebrate life. They celebrate wine bibbing and partying, love affairs and they encapsulate a philosophy of life that's very different from conventional morality uh, in Eastern societies of that time. One of the paintings uh, depicts uh, an upper-class young woman uh, sitting and reading, and she has at her feet a wine jar and cup. And it seems to me that this picture exemplifies the spirit of the poetry, but also it's very likely that Doris saw herself in that young woman the most delightful aspect of my stay here really for me is to be able to interact with this beautiful artwork, to see it up close and to think about its context uh, for the life of Doris Duke.